Hey, it's Lauren. Thanks for joining me. I am doing a beauty haul today, dipping my toe back into making a video. So I'm making it like ridiculously easy for myself and doing a collective haul. It's been, it's been like a couple months since I've posted a video. I filmed some things and just, you know, life. I have just been in a, a constant revolving door of sickness in my household. So anyways, I am uh, excited to talk about the things that I purchased. So I am going to do, do that right now. First up, I have a little Sephora purchase that I made. I got this. This is from Ceremonia. This is the Guava Leave-In Conditioner. Excited that Sephora now carries this brand. I originally tried the papaya scalp scrub from them. I picked it up when I was like at the Credo Beauty Summit thing. Loved it. Tried a few other like sample things that I had from that brand and got this. It's lovely. Uh, it's a leave-in conditioner, so hydrating, protecting. It smells really good. If you are sensitive to fragrance though, you might want to stay away from this line in general. Very tropical in its scent. This is going to last me forever. I only need like a little bit and I've been using this daily for the last two, maybe three weeks. And yeah, so this will probably expire before I can use it up. So great for me. Um, maybe not the best for them in terms of getting my money, but like this brand. They're, um, yeah, new to Sephora. Now at Sephora, but they're also a Credo. Want to try more from those brands. So if you've tried them out, other items from them, let me know. I like the shampoo and the conditioner. I tried many of those. Uh, and I have my eye on the hair mask as well. Also from Sephora, now I did get this like order a while ago and I haven't actually opened this yet. This is the Sephora Favorites Clean Lashes To Go. It's a set of different mascaras. I don't wanna open these yet until I've used uh, up the mascara I have on the go. I'm using Gla Glossier Lash Slick right now. Love that mascara. Um, but I've used several of these, so this looked like a really great deal. I love the Cali Ray Mascara, so good. Um, and I've used the Milk Makeup Mascara, I really like it. And then, I don't know if this is the new Ilia Mascara or the old one, but still a good mascara, so it seemed like a really great deal. Uh, it was my birthday month last month, August, so of course I got my little birthday gift I haven't really cracked into yet, a little caviar eyeshadow stick, and uh, a little mini powder, great for, great for travel. These Laura Mercier caviar sticks are so good. What color is this one? I have a few minis of these. Strapless. That's a really beautiful kind of everyday eye shadow. I'm gonna leave that out to try soon. Um, and then I got a couple of like mini like point perks, little Kosas airbrow, which I like. I got my brows laminated at the beginning of August and I loved it. It's all worn out now, like it only lasts for like, it's supposed to last like six, eight weeks. Mine lasts like four, like four and a half weeks tops, but I have very coarse, very stubborn, very down to turned eyebrows. So uh, I want to get that again. Don't know why I'm mentioning that. This is, but this, I guess I always thought about it because of the airbrow. Um, and I've been really wanting to try this St. Jane uh, sunscreen. I actually had it in my basket for the longest time, but I took it out when I saw that they had this like mini. Um, I don't remember if this was like a points perk or if this was like a spend X amount of money and get. So yeah, broad spectrum SPF 30, so. Um, I'll, I'm going to try this out. Probably do like a TikTok or an Instagram stories trying that out. And then again, this is another thing that I had in my cart, but then I saw that they had a mini of, and it is the Fable and Main hair oil, Holy Roots hair oil. This, um, keeps popping up 
uh, to me and from various creators that I follow on Instagram and TikTok. I've tried this one so far and I did not like it at all. Uh, it's like something that you leave in, uh, I believe, in your scalp. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but you put it in your scalp and stuff and then you let it sink in and then the next day you wash your hair. And I had an awful hair day the next day. So I'll try it again and see. Maybe it was a fluke. I like to give things multiple tries before I completely write them off. But first, instinct was not the best. And then another per point perk, this is the Verb hair oil. I got this because I thought it would be great for travel and I really like this hair oil, but I will never take this traveling because this uh, leaked. I'm glad it was in a little bag when it arrived via Sephora, but this leaked. Like you can see here how much is gone. And it doesn't look like it's that much, but when it's that much that has leaked inside a package, it it sucks. So we'll never take this traveling. So those are the things that I picked up at Sephora. And then a couple of like other items that I've gotten recently. This one I haven't opened yet. This is skincare. This is the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. I got a facial around my birthday as well. I'm really like one of those like treat yourself birthday week people. Granted the facial was something I asked for as a birthday gift so I went and had that done and the esthetician used this on me. The Atmosphere Protective Cream and I just loved the way it felt on my skin so much so that I purchased it. I haven't actually opened this yet because I'm trying to be a better, better consumer and use things that I have open. So I will be using this soon. It's been a long time since I've had something um, from Osea. They uh, have a huge range now. They used to have kind of a smaller range, but now they seem to have a lot of products and they're very big on PR. Um, I see a lot of people get their PR. And then another skincare item that I picked up is this. And I love this. I've only used it once though. This is the Jordan Samuel Skin New Exfoliating Mask. It's like a clay, it's a hybrid mask where it's a clay mask a exfoliating mask and a hydrating mask. It's got all those things in one. And I used it about two weeks ago, so I've only used it once. I haven't used it this week yet, and I really could use it. My skin's a bit funny, but last week was a great skin week. Uh, and it might be in part to this. Beautiful new launch from him. It's like, kinda got like a dark clay texture. Not clay texture. It's actually quite, jelly like but it's got like that look you know of clay but it doesn't it's not one of those types that dry down yeah it's really nice some other skincare stuff now this was actually like sent to me in pr this is from biosance this is like a little set from them and i have been using this continuously for like three weeks now to really test it out and so far so good except for the last two days, which I'm not gonna attribute to this because I uh, had a lot of makeup on and I was wearing masks because I'm like still getting over sick and I just don't wanna be like, I don't know, I just think it's like being like a nice citizen to not like breathe your sickness on other people. So I've been wearing masks and I've been wearing masks with makeup, so it's here. For a bit there, great skin and I think it was mostly this stuff and then that one once use of this. But there's the squalene vitamin rose oil. Oh, I did not shut that all the way and now it is leaking. Squalene rose lip balm. And then this sunscreen, I think is my favorite. It is a uh, SPF 30 squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen. And it's like a really nice moisturizer. It's still pretty warm here, so I've been kind of thinner on the amount of skincare I'm using because it's like it's hot, so I don't want too much. So this is really nice to just like put this on and then this on and like that's it for the day. Uh, and then I have a few makeup items that I have been testing out, wearing right now. The uh, new blush from Rowan. This is the Pink Dusk. The Cheeky Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Pink Dusk. Wearing it right now. It's a really high draining formula. I don't have any highlighter on, and I'm like looking pretty dewy. 
uh, I would say it's like it seems somewhat similar to the Tower 28 blushes, but unfortunately this doesn't have, I feel like, as long of a wear time as the Tower 28 blushes, but the Tower 28 blushes still don't have like the longest wear time, but very hydrating. And I like this color. No, it blends pretty well. Got that on and then I matched it, was feeling like this pink moment, even though like we're officially in fall now with this. Love this. This is the uh, Violet Petal Bouche in the new pink color. I'm wearing that right now. I got the red one, the red Petal Bouche and the perfume. Uh, I had that on my wish list for my birthday and I was gifted that uh, for my birthday and I liked the red lipstick and the feel of it so much that I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one. So I got this one as well. Beautiful, I've worn it a couple of times now. And then I also got one of the uh, eyeshadows. I have just been like lusting after this eyeshadow for so long. And I got an email saying they're gonna raise their prices. So like the day before they were like raising their prices, I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna get it, get it now before it goes up. And it's like, it's like three or $4 more now, which is insane Like for this. 30 some odd dollars. That's insane. I get it. I get it. Like the world is burning and supply chain issues, etc. I have not used it yet. This is just like one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. I cannot wait to play with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to wear it tomorrow. I have no childcare tomorrow and I usually don't get a chance to do my makeup. Um, when it's just me and her, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try anyways. So we'll see. So pretty. And uh, I gotta say the, the Violet perfume, I really like it. Not overpowering, it's really lovely. Um, a couple other things, it's kind of like denouement in terms of like excitement, but I got another eyelash curler. This is the Surratt eyelash curler. I've been using this eyelash curler for years and they do, they wear out you know not just like the pads on them but like the spring the spring wears out and I've been using some other ones like I got some like drugstore ones and some tweezer man ones and they just don't curl like this one curls this one just like suits my eye shape you know you really unfortunately have to like find the right eyelash curler for your eye shape and this one is like the one for me so I have that back in my life I still have the old one I don't know why I'm keeping it. It doesn't like curl well anymore. And then I got like a couple of like nail items. Uh, I did a repurchase of the Jinsoon nail varnish. This is in the shade Pixie. This is such a great like, I don't have time to do my nails. I don't have time to go get my nails done, but I want like a little bit of like put together, but I also like don't have time to like redo it like if it chips I need it to not be like a big deal and this is just like a sheer basically kind of like top coat or just like sheer coat please focus here we go that just like makes your nails look healthy which I need because my nails are so destroyed between just being con constantly sick for months on end and with that, the constant of washing my hands and then the making of food and washing my hands, just having my hands in water all the time has destroyed them. So I got this. This is Onyx, on O-N-Y-X, Professional Hard as Hoof Nail Strengthening Cream. This was the like most consistently well-reviewed. Like there's other things that were like well-reviewed, but there like wasn't as many reviews. And like the price point of this was so like dirt cheap, you know, that I was like, okay, this is the best priced, most consistently well-reviewed thing. I'm gonna give it a shot. So I will report back on this. Hopefully it actually does its job and fixes my absolute destroyed wreckage of a nail. I trim them because I can't let them grow because they keep splitting and splintering off and just flaking. It's, I'd like to, I'd like to have some cute hands. So 
that's my little haul. I hope to make some more videos soon. Now that hopefully my family is out of sickness, I don't know. I just got to notice that my kid might have been uh, exposed to hand, foot, and mouth. So <laughs> maybe you won't see me again for months. But I hope everyone here is well. I'm going to plug my TikTok right now. I'm posting on there somewhat frequently. So if you're on there and want to follow me there, I'm there. Um, I'm trying to post more on Instagram, at least in stories and stuff when I can. And I'll try and be on here more because I love talking about beauty stuff. All right. I hope everyone is well and y'all are doing good and et cetera, et cetera. I'll see you soon.